This video is to show you how to make this part right here. Uh, this one is a piece from the Puzzle Cube project. And I'm going to show you how to make it in three different ways. One is additive method, one subtractive method, and the other one's a combination of the two. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the additive method. So I'm going to start a sketch. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw this back section right here. So I'm going to make the rectangle for the back part. And then I have this little cutout section right here. So I'm going to add in another rectangle. I'm going to make sure that this is connected to the line. All right, so adding in my dimensions. So right now, this isn't fully constrained. Um, I still have some green lines, so I need to connect it over to this side and have the spacing the same as everything else. So now it's all connected, everything's blue. So now I can finish and extrude. And right now, I just have a portion of our part. So that was the first section. And I'm going to do um, the adding on of this little cube right here. So I'm going to add another sketch. Add in a rectangle. And right now it's not connected exactly the way I want it to be, so i got to add in the dimensions for that. So now you can finish and extrude. So that was the additive method of how to make this part. So now I'm going to show you the subtractive method. So instead of like before where you just could make the part and then you were done, the first thing that we need to do for this is actually make a box that will be the same size as our entire piece and then we're going to remove sections. So here's the rectangle for our box. We can extrude it. We need to extrude it the full depth of our part. And now we can start removing portions of this. So the first thing we're going to remove is this kind of section here where it just leaves this little cube. And then afterwards, I'm going to cut that one piece out. So I'm going to start a sketch on here. I'm going to project the geometry just to make this a little bit quicker. I'm going to add in our square. So finish. And instead of extruding like before, you need to switch it to cut. So it's removing the portion that you want to have removed. Sometimes it'll switch automatically, other times it won't, so you might need to just double check. So now I'm going to start my next sketch because you need to remove this portion right here. And right now you can see how it's really hard to see what's going on, so projecting your geometry is going to help a lot for this part. And now I just need to add in one more dimension. So I can finish, extrude, oh. sometimes it's hard to select the piece that you want to have selected. There it goes. And this is another button that you could do um, to switch it to, well, cut if it's going in that direction. You can change what direction you want it to go in. Then OK. So here's our part. Okay, so additive, subtractive, and now I'll show you one that's a combination. All right, so I'm going to start, and then this time I'm going to put in this piece right here in the back just as a full rectangle, and then I'm going to cut out that little cube that's missing. So I'm going to start the sketch on here. So I'm going to do the subtractive portion of it now. And again, I need to link it to the edge because it's not fully constrained. And it's also not the correct dimension. 
All right, so again, I need to make sure that it's cutting in. So I'm going to start my sketch. And just do the project geometry this time. Makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going from here to here, finish, and extrude. And there's our part. Okay. So we have a combination of both. This one again was made by a subtractive method and our additive method. So all three, absolutely the same. So you can do any of these methods as long as your part turns out the same way when you're done. You've made the part correctly.